But you can't rule out an actual conspiracy given what we know was taking place in the hour leading up to that event. You take a very confident person and say, ah, oh, there's no possible conspiracy well, at all. And then we should also differentiate between asking questions and a conspiracy. Mm. Asking questions should never be considered a conspiracy. If there is anything that kind of makes you think that this could be plausible, it shouldn't be a conspiracy. It should be legitimate questions and they should be allowed to ask and they should be looked into. Yeah, um, look, I mean, I have no problem with the word... Con the, the word conspiracy has a bad rap. You know, the conspiracies happen all through history. Um, when you study ancient history, you have to study the Catiline conspiracy, an attempt to overthrow the Roman Empire mm -hmm. or overthrow um, the, the, um, uh, the, or the Republic. Yeah, the Republic at the time. Um, so, I mean, what we, what, we, what we don't want to fall into are a sort of groundless or uh, very far-fetched conspiracy theories. But a conspiracy, like, you'd be a fool to deny that conspiracies don't happen on a regular basis. But the, again, this is part of the, the left using terminology mm. to lump together what we call theories and actual conspiracies and questioning yep. into one group so they can dismiss it. I mean, and that's, as we mentioned earlier, the, the left's use of language to control the narrative. So we've got to keep that in mind. Questions, conspiracy are fine, but they will add the word theories so they can lump it in with lizard people, flat earth or whatever, so, so that they can discredit you and they don't have to listen to your questions yep. or what's going on. And sorry, I, I didn't mean to interrupt you, John. The best definition of a conspiracy is simply a concealed plan. Okay, so if uh, under that definition, there's a million conspiracies happening in Sydney today. Okay, mm. uh, now, but in, in now, in, but if if there was a concealed plan to have Trump taken out last Saturday, it means that the shooter was in on it. Now, this shooter, we don't know much about him, but we know a bit about him, and he certainly does strike us as a lone deranged nut. That's what he certainly comes across as. So I don't think that if there was a grand conspiracy that they would have used this nut. I also think if there was a grand conspiracy, they wouldn't have missed. OK, so, so I, think, um, I think that there was, there was, as Stephen was sort of indicating, look, there was a, there was a, we, we've seen the Democrats try to propose legislation to deprive Trump of any social security. We know what was in their heart. They, the, if there was a conspiracy, it was a soft conspiracy in that they reduced his so secret service to a significant extent and there was only one hope, there was only one motive they had for that, which was to sort of encourage a nut to go and do it. I'm going to disagree on, on one point you made there, that John. I mean, that was very well elucidated. I don't think the shooter had to be in, in on it for a conspiracy. Okay. He could have been manipulated. You can have a third party, and it's been shown many times in history where it's, they've done that. They manipulate someone to act in a certain way, whether it's used through psychology, through drugs, through... Um, repetition to think a certain way to act in a certain way and then allow it to happen that doesn't mean he was in or aware what, how they were using him but he still could be used and it would be a legitimate um, conspiracy mm. one of the things people have been worried you know talking about more recently today is this story about there being someone on the water tower if you guys haven't seen anything I, about that. I have. And I've got a couple of... Um, yeah, but I can't see any videos of it. I can't right. see anybody pointing to the water tower. These are Now, prior to the shooting, there's plenty of videos of people saying, he's got a gun, he's got 